Two sets to Lendl, and I don't think Becker can come back from that. He knows it. He's just talking to himself. Can't understand why when he did get to the net and had it covered. The mind works in strange ways in this game, doesn't it, Cliff? Doesn't you know, it? you put a lot of pressure on yourself as you look at Terry. You can see he's worried. I talked to him just before they started out there. He said to me, who do you think is going to win? I said, I'm picking Becker by a very, very short margin. I said, what about you? He said, I think he'll win. And he wasn't a coach talking. That was... Uh, you know, the honest feeling of Tyriak is he will say very negative things about his man if he thinks he deserves him. Deuce. Oh! Advantage Becker. And advantage to Forrest Becker. Two games apiece. Second set. It's wide. And somebody up in the stands will get a souvenir. Tennis ball? No, they'll have to, if the ball boys are on their, feet, uh, on their toes, they'll get it back. Deuce. And deuce. You know, you have to have the same number of balls out there all the time, and the players have the right to ask him to get another ball back in there if... Uh, well, that one went so it. far up into the seats, I'm sure somebody grabbed it and ran out. <laughs> <laughs> There's Tony Roach, the white jacket, Kunu Bosch in the blue jacket. Yeah! And the advantage back to Boris Becker. Little help from the tape. Almost had two swings at that ball back. Lendl made the return and he was making his swing. Then it hit the tape, so he had to restart his swing, Becker, but he had plenty of time. leads three games to two. Second set against Yvonne Lendl. We'll return to Madison Square Garden in New York in a moment. That is Don Marin, Chairman Chief Executive of Payne Weber Incorporated, presenting sponsor of this deal. Guys like that have supported this great sport of ours for a long time. He's a good player himself, by the way, and we certainly appreciate that. He said he was playing with Roscoe Tanner last week. I said, playing with, well, he said kind of just hitting with him, really, I suppose. Hope Roscoe wasn't serving you know, at full capacity. <laughs> but it is organizations like his that have uh, supported this uh, sport, as I Please. said, Roger, and, and I, uh, really, uh, without those guys, the profession, professional sport of tennis would not and could not be what it is. And they are welcome, and, and hopefully they feel that their, their uh, sponsorship is worthwhile, and I think they do. 15 miles. Well, the serve has just been on, not just tonight, not just last night, but since last Thursday, and, and Becker continues to have a running conversation with himself, as he has since the ninth game of the first set. There's so many things you can do to try to get into a match, and Beck is trying at least some of them, but when you get a reply like this to a shot like Becker just hit, you have to wonder whether you're ever going to be able to do anything worthwhile. And 
Becker doesn't seem to have any answers. He tosses his racket down. It's 40 love. And he can just shake his head right now. It just seems like Boris isn't able to pick the direction that uh, Lendl is serving. He's not uh, not picking them at all. He's frustrated on his on his heels. And Lendl evens things up at three games apiece. Let me ask both Cliff and Rod right now. Lendl has been gearing himself for Australia. This championship is very important, but he is the number one player in the world and has a lot of confidence in that. Becker has come out and said, if I win this, I should be considered number one. You think Becker's put a lot of pressure on himself and he's feeling it tonight? No, I don't think... Uh, Lendl feels exactly the same way about this tournament. Believe me, you've lost three times out of four to a guy in one year. He's number two in the world. He's breathing up your neck. You're going to try at your level best. He didn't, he's not thinking about Australia no, right now. I, I'm not necessarily, but... In other words, pressure not so much being there because he feels secure in the fact that he is the number one. And he said, hey, Becker's got to come and get it from me. Ah! Rod, any comment on it? I think you know, Ivan, of course, is uh, playing tremendous tennis at the moment, and he's... At this moment, he's playing way, way above uh, what Boris is up to, and uh, you know, I think uh, he's out to prove that he's the number one player, and uh, he likes the uh, facility here, and I, I think that uh, he's playing confidently, and I think he's very sure that he's going to come out the winner. Carbon copy of the first set, my friends, remember? Becker started out serving it, and was having trouble in his serve all along. Lendl wasn't. Same story here. And it was the third game in each set that Becker was able to stave off the break points. And 15 all. 15 all now. Forrest is just not uh, feeling the ball. He's, uh, he's, he's losing it. Uh, seems like his touch is off and uh, just not, uh, not catching the ball and uh, his direction's way off. The only thing that has worked for, for him from time to time is that big first serve. And I guess he can get enough of them in. He may be able to keep his nose out in front. Goodness knows, from his standpoint, he needs to. First serve. Net. First serve. Thirty fifteen. Still too many unforced errors, and Lendl knows it. Lendl uh, looking at two things that he likes. Number one, Beck is making the unforced errors. Number two, he's not coming into the net, so he's not having to force the pace himself on trying to make the big passing shots that Becker could and should be forcing him to do. 30 all. And Becker has not been this close on Lendl's serve any time in the match. Yvonne Lundell with another great opportunity in this seventh game, second set. It seems like this is a carbon copy of last year's final. Uh, Boris is going for too much, and uh, Lundell knows it. He's just keeping the pressure on. And uh, I think the one thing he's doing is, with Lundell, he's getting that uh, short uh, chip shot on the backhand side, keeping it low. did that once before but Becker had it covered this time <laughs> look at this you can't hit a better a beautifully executed volley now Lendl boy is not slow anymore is he I think he's really improved his speed he gets to the ball